This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range again with my next installment on. Got that camera anywhere near right? Yeah, that'll do. My next installment on fixing the camera. <laughs> okay. So, what are we doing today? Well, a member of our community recently purchased a set of short line gunadapters.com now this comes in a pretty cool package pouch whatever you're going to call it and it drops open and it's got a place on there i guess you're going to put more adapters in this part or or uh, cartridges of some kind or something of that nature because these little these little elastic loops are different sizes Okay, so what do you get? Well, actually you get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this box, in this setup. And they're in, oh, uh, let's see, nine millimeter, 338 special, but not 357. Colt, 45 long Colt. Um, 12 gauge to 22 and 40 Smith and Wesson. Well, I don't know what you do with that. Nobody shoots 40s anymore. Anyway, there it is. I've got a little target up down here because I couldn't get anything else. And I took out of the package these two. 12 gauge to 38 special and 12 gauge to 20 gauge shotgun. Okay, so I've got a brand new unshot at target backer down there on the backstop. Well, let's try them out. What are we gonna shoot here? 38 special 158 grain round nose lead NYPD. So it's the approved NYPD LAPD load from back when they used 38 Special. A regular old round nose lead cartridge. Let's get one out here. Probably need something to poke that out there with. Find a poker. There's a poker. Let's try the 38 Special first. 15 yard. It's just a little... Oh, I don't know, eight by eight piece of paper that the pull off target dots come off of for, uh, you know, those stick on target dots that come in different sizes. We will be shooting the Acme Destroyer with a mini shell in it. <laughs> it's, this hangs in the basement on the hook above my workbench where I keep this gun. All right, let's see what happens. It's in there pretty good. All right, aim it down range, see what happens. No recoil, none whatsoever. Okay, let's try three. See if we can get us a group going. Oh, drops out, nice. Okay. Quiet, kind of quiet. Okay. Okay. Hey, remember some time back we did the generic, oops, the generic nine millimeter uh, 12 gauge chamber adapter, and it was pretty accurate. All right. 
Clear. Clear, clear, clear. Okay, let's go look at it and see what it did. See what kind of acatocracy we got. Oh, well, what do we got here? Well, there's one, and then there's either two or a keyhole, huh? I'm going to say that's two. Well, it's not what you call pinpoint accuracy, but it's in the ballpark. It's in the ballpark. Well, not. Uh, I'm not taking it to FBI sniper school, that's for sure. Not a too bad of a... Not... Not too... What the hell? Let's see what this one is. 12 gauge from 40 Smith & Wesson. Probably gets 22. What the hell? None of these have any rifling in them. What the hell? Well, that's 45 Colt. Nothing. Twelve gauge nine millimeter Luger, nothing. Twelve gauge to forty five AC, nothing. That's stupid right there. Why would you go to make all the trouble manufacturing that thing, cutting it down, doing the precision cutting on it, chambering it? Okay, and then not rifle it. That's stupid. That's uh, that's stupid. That, that's 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 stupid. Okay, so this one says. 410 45 Colt. So as a 410, it's not a bad idea. Okay. 22, no rifling in it. That's. That's that's stupid. A and a ripoff, if you ask me. I mean, so. I fired three shots at it, and it's got two holes in it. One of them looks like it's in the same hole, but now I'm saying that's a keyhole. And then the third one, I don't know where it went. So I'm like, this is a ripoff here. You go to all that trouble, and this pack costs over a hundred dollars. I didn't buy it, thank God. But All right, we'll give it the benefit of a doubt. I have 20 gauge, 12 gauge to 20 gauge. That's a brand new target backer down there. It's only got those two holes on it. Let's see what happens when you shoot a 20 gauge through it. Well, that's stupid right there. I wasn't even... I don't know, maybe they make rifled ones and the buyer of this set overlooked that in the description or something you know but I know they make long ones 
that are, I don't know, eight or nine inches long that are for everything from, you know, 410 to 22 Hornet and so forth. All right, let's see what the 20 gauge will do. Knock the dust off of it right there. Something happened. These are herders of unknown origin. So at least the shell didn't stick out the end of it. The crimp opened up. You know. I'm very disappointed with this. This is... Uh, this is not a... Let's see what it did. Let's see what the 20 gauge did. Uh, the pattern's dense enough. Right in the middle that... You could probably take out a rabbit with it. But again, I don't know why you would convert a 12 gauge to 20. You know, I could see converting a 12 gauge to 410. But, you know, it, it's just pretty good. Doesn't shoot terrible, let's put it that way. So that, that whole pack the only thing that seems to be effective is the 20 gauge to 12 gauge adapter. Now, this is supposed to be a fairly reputable company. And I'm like, you know, I know a fellow who has some of these short line brand gizmos for high powered rifle to single shot shotgun. Uh, namely, 22 Hornet and two two three and they're about oh about that long and they're pretty effective they work pretty good i mean you know you need better sights but than what a single shot shotgun's got on it but at 50 yards you can probably kill a coyote with it without too much trouble but this thing unrifled um no no this was this is uh, this is foolish. This, this. So I haven't done any research on this. I don't know what other products they have specifically. You know, I don't know if all of their products are unrifled. But uh, this guy, no, just no. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a little. Uh, product review for you like take share by commentate and subscribe uh, short line short line chamber adapters.com will probably not be leaving me a dollar in the patreon bucket so you try to <laughs> god bless everybody join the nra and we'll see you when we see you bye now